What's up guys? Welcome to week 26 of my keto journey. You're watching Keto Rewind and I'm Jess. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button right here and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. And let me just say, I'm not a doctor. This is my weight loss journey and I'm talking about my experience with my weight loss on my keto journey using a um, a ketogenic lifestyle or way of eating and intermittent fasting. So let's get started. Hey everyone, this video is going to document my keto journey. Um, this is week one, day one, like literally day one of my keto journey. <laughs> um, I guess a little stats about me, I'm five feet eight. to get a full body picture. <laughs> um, I'm five feet eight. I'm apple shaped. Okay, so it's week 26, day 182, month 6. Technically, month, month 6 was yesterday, but <laughs> close enough, right? So, if you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, and I'll give you a quick little recap. Uh, on February 11th, 2019, I decided to change my life, to take charge of my health, using real food, <laughs> and the ketogenic way of living and intermittent fasting and fast forward till now well let me say I weighed 309 pounds I am 200 I'm the I weighed 309 pounds on February 11th 2019 I was typically around a size 22 24 on the bottom 2 3x on the top and I am 5 feet 8 and apple shaped Today, <laughs> drum roll, I weighed in at 239. Bam, look at that scale shot. <laughs> Whoa! I lost 70 pounds in six months, and that puts me with only 70 pounds left to go until I hit my goal weight. I have so many keto before and after uh, transformation pictures in this video so stay tuned there's gonna be a ton of stuff at the end but for right now I know everybody just wants to get into it <laughs> um, it's been a while since I shared my measurements as well and I want to say that there are there's power in the measurements too don't put so much power on the scale and how much you weigh I clearly should be a lot bigger than I am for the size or for the weight that's on the scale like someone who's 239 pounds typically doesn't wear clothes as small as I can wear um, and again a lot of that is because everybody's different everybody's spread out differently I'm tall <laughs> I'm big boned um, I'm evenly proportioned so you can't compare me compared to you because you're probably completely different and you know, you're shaped different. Your body holds its weight different. So take that with a grain of salt. Don't give the power to the scale. Um, I, my hips, when I first started, which is the lowest point or the biggest part of my hip and lower belly, were 60 inches when I started. Today, I'm happy to report my hips are 49 inches. That's like crazy. And it was like 48 and a half, but I just round up and do whole numbers. So for, we're going to call it 49. Um, my waist, which I would consider the smallest part, like right here where it goes in, it's important to use the same landmark every time. So that's my natural waist. So that's one of the measurements that I use. When I started, my waist was 45 inches. Now it's 38. Crazy, right? And then my, my belly, which is, I consider, like, I use my belly button as my other landmark because it's pretty much going to be in the same spot every time. Makes for more accurate, accurate measurements. At my belly button, when I started, 
I had a 54 inch lower waist and today it was 44 inches. So that gives me a grand total in six months, I lost 28 inches just from those three measurements. Crazy, right? So if you're not inspired, stay tuned to the end and look at all these pictures. I, they'll blow your mind. Okay, so I've got a lot of comments. Um, at first, I want to say thank you for being so kind. Like, I really do read all the comments. I don't have time because of getting so, my channel's growing so quickly to actually respond to every single one, although I'm really trying to. Um, I do read them all. So I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so kind, so nice. Um, the few negative ones out there, you know, they need to get a life <laughs> and find somebody else to like. Anyway, we'll just stop there. They just need to get a life. But I just, I just smile because it gives me engagement and it brings more people to my channel. The more um, comments, whether they're good or bad, and that spreads my message that you too can do this. You are strong. You can you just follow what I've done in all these videos. And if you are just new to keto, I made a or I'm currently in the process of making a keto 101 video series where I'm breaking it down very like small piece by piece. So all the way right now I'm at the point where I have how to calculate your macros, but next will be taking that in steps for further, like how to plan a menu how to add, enter in like a casserole and get your macros from that, how to use someone else's recipe. And so stay tuned and use this link right here and binge watch those videos. It's really, really, really informative and you need to do all your research before you get started to know if this is the right thing for you. So one of the comments that I did get quite a bit, why am I losing weight so fast? You've done keto for, you know, nine months or something, you're only down 30 pounds, or you've done, you know, your first month you didn't have as big of a weight loss as I had. All of that is subjective, first of all, because we all are different and we lose weight differently. I have a, um, a athletic build, you wouldn't know it, but back in the day before I got fat, I was really athletic. I did lots of weightlifting, lots of sports. My bone structure and body structure is a lot more lean mass, even though I've got lots of fat, but I do have a high lean mass, the more muscle, the faster you burn. So if you're 98% jiggle, you're not going to lose it as fast as me. It's just your, your, it's your body's composition. Um, and also different ages. You can't really say because you're old, you can't do this. You absolutely can do it. Think of it. I will be at the end of the month, I will be 36. So I consider that not 36 years old. I consider myself I'm going to be at level 36, you know, like level 36. That's really cool because, you know, there's people at level one, <laughs> you know. So don't take the age as a negative. Own it, you know. The age has nothing to do with weight loss. You may not need to lose it, say, as quickly or so vigorously or something, but you certainly can. And, and slow and steady wins the race. It's not, a, it's not a race to lose the weight. The point, there's beauty in the process and the journey and the learning of how to live again. So to make that kind of like cliff notes of why I'm losing it maybe faster than you, I'm tracking every single thing that goes in my mouth on a food diary. And that means if I have, you know, a, six ounces of something, but the serving size was four ounces, I'm putting six in there. And then at my next meal, I'm like, I'll back it off because I've had enough. Like I will have what my body needs to stay in a fat, or I should say in a weight loss mode. So I'm tracking my food so that I know how much I'm eating. And I will give you a better explanation of how to like, do this in a day and that will be in that same keto 101 series but to to sum it up anything that goes in my body body gets weighed on a food scale and then entered into my food diary which i use and i i'm pretty partial now i want I, my favorite one to recommend is carb manager there's free versions there's a, you know there's upgraded versions you can do it all with the free um and then I also, I'm staying focused. I'm finding ways, I'm, I, I am in like, you know, 10 different keto groups. I have keto on my Pinterest board. I have keto on my YouTube channel. I have keto, keto, keto. Like everything around me is keto. So I'm focused 
I'm watching other people's success stories. I am building on my own success. I'm building off of the comments that you leave in here. So you've got to stay focused. You've got to trust the process and learn as much as you can. The more research, the better. And finally, um, there's two new things that I'm going to do this week, uh, starting today. Actually, I started yesterday. I got collagen peptides. I've been researching them for a while. And being that I have 140 pounds to lose, I've been researching and researching and like, you know, are they worth it? Did they do anything? So I'm going to do an experiment. I took a lot more photos than obviously I can show. <laughs> um, but I'm going to see how my skin, my reasoning is skin support. I want to have the best looking body when I'm done without having to go to extreme measures like weight loss, um, what do you call it, uh, skin removal surgery. So if I can help myself along the way, to minimize that or the need for that, I'm gonna do it. And plus, I'll let you know if it worked or not. So I'm gonna document everything I do, but I put the collagen peptides, one scoop in my coffee, mix it up, It's there's no taste, no flavor, you don't even know what's in there. So collagen peptides have been shown to help make your hair beautiful, skin support, your nails, um, joints so if you've got like a bad back or a bad knee it helps because as you get older the collagen that your body naturally produces decreases so by taking the collagen peptides every day in my coffee I'm replenishing that plus there's protein in it um, and I'm not positive yet if that protein actually counts towards your protein for your day your macros in your day I'm still I'm seeing mixed reviews, so I will update that as I get more clarification. But regardless, when I take it, I'm not even hungry. I'm even worse because before when I was just having coffee, when I was fasting, I never was hungry. Now I'm really not hungry. So, um, so if you're somebody that maybe wants to try that, go for it. And I'll let you know. I got mine from Sprouts. It's our local grocery market here. I know there's stores in California, Colorado. Texas and Florida. I know for sure because those are the states I've been to and I've seen them. Um, but check out Sprouts. They have a grass-fed one and make sure you're getting a grass-fed good quality collagen peptide because you don't want collagen from cows that are from feedlots. They're chomping, chomping on grain and all this stuff. You want cows that are pasture raised, you know, in a nice, as, as least pesticides as possible and they get to walk around and eat grass, what cows are supposed to eat. So that's what I want my collagen made from. So, and then the second thing, I see a lot of comments about leg cramps, foot cramps, just cramps in general, um, and then cravings when it comes to be your cycle time, your monthly cycle, your visit for Flow. I found that the best way to get um, magnesium in your body and potassium is cacao nibs. So I also grabbed some cacao nibs and I'm just going to start taking them because there's a couple reasons. The first reason it's a high in magnesium, which helps make you sleep, um, and potassium. Those two will help with leg cramping, just overall feeling great. And you can get them naturally by having a snack that's high in fiber. And um, them, the, co the cacao nibs as a whole are pretty bitter. It's like straight up chocolate. So if you want to take maybe a little of that edge off, I'm doing two things. One of them, I'm going to eat them by themselves whenever I get a craving. I'm going to give myself that because it's shown that in a lot of the stuff that I'm researching right now, that when you're on your menstrual cycle, you crave chocolate. Well, what you can get the magnesium from the chocolate in the cacao nib. So that's why we crave chocolate. So it's like, it's like a, you know, if, I, if you're craving something sweet, you're craving probably magnesium because it's your monthly cycle. So take something that's nutritionally beneficial to you. And you can also, I will say, you can get magnesium and potassium in a pill form. Then that's just, you know, you take a pill and done. This is something, if you want to enjoy a snack that is chocolate, that has extra nutritional benefits, check out the cacao nibs. And then secondly, I have been taking some uh, chocolate that's been sweetened with monk fruit. Let me show you a picture right here. And I melt that down like a whole, I'll give you the recipe, but I, I melt a whole section of that and add a couple servings of the cacao nibs in it and I make little cow patties. <laughs> so then they harden back up and it sweetens them a little bit so they're not like overpowering bitter. Um, and it also, because it's sweetened with monk fruit, I don't find any, any issues with spiking glycemic index or insulin. Um, it's a real safe 
go to sweetener. So everybody wins. So you get the chocolate, you get some sweet, and you get magnesium, you get fiber. So definitely, definitely, definitely try adding that, especially around your monthly cycles. And it's an easy low carb snack. Okay, so now let's get to the nitty gritty. I was surfing through my old photos um, from like week one to you know month one to like month three and just watch rewatching old videos and I could not believe how much my body has changed in such a short time. Like it's it seems crazy to have this big of a keto transformation, but it was literally done just eating real food that are within the guidelines of keto you know, and cutting out all the crap, cutting out all the sugar, and then also incorporating intermittent fasting. And that's how I've gotten to where I am today. I didn't need to buy anything other than a food scale, and a, I did upgrade on Carb Manager, the premium version, but you could, I started off with the, with, at the beginning, for the longest time, with the free version. So, it was empowering to see this transformation in such a short time. Like, it's month six. That's what I looked like six months ago. You know, I was so miserable. I had zero self-esteem. I had zero self-worth, zero confidence, you know, and it, and it just made the vicious cycle keep going and going and going. So I've been doing research on self-help and how to change that thinking process of thinking you are not worth feeling amazing and feeling beautiful and being strong. You're not worth that. So I've been challenging myself since the day I started to see love first. And that's because you have to get rid of all your past mistakes, your past errors, your past fails, your, your, your negative thinking about yourself, your nitpicking, your nitpicking of each and every single spot in your body that's not perfect. The idea of perfectionism, there is nobody that's perfect. And, and you have to remember that at the end of the day, you are just as worthy. So when you change the way you think so that you are, oh, uh, for instance, I don't, I never did nails before. Now I have, you know, pink nails because I didn't think I was worth drawing any more attention to myself because I was so ugly and miserable. So now I'm like, well, I want to paint my nails. <laughs> you know, I want I want that. And I'm doing, I'm putting makeup on again. Like, you know, I just, I care more about myself. But I got to that point by loving myself and changing the the thought process of how I critique and criticize myself and compare myself to others. I stay in Jess's own lane. I'm not looking to you. I'm not looking to you. I'm not looking to you. This journey is about me living again and loving myself. So instead of looking in the mirror and saying, oh my God, look at that roll. Look at this stretch mark. You know, like I, I'm so fat, you know, whatever it is that you're saying, I'm like, man, girl, you're getting, look at you, you know, like dust that, dust that off here. Not too shabby today. You know, like just talking to yourself the way you would talk to a friend, you know, that's just as worthy of those comments. So you have to think, you have to love yourself and you can't go through this whole journey and, and, and of weight loss and changing your life and have those negative thoughts still with you. You gotta leave those you gotta drop them like a hot cake, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, like, in, in general, you just have to love yourself and stop thinking that way. You are worth it, you're beautiful, you're strong, and you can have this too. So, come on, let's do this together. Now, let's go through some keto transformation pictures. I'm gonna do a quick little narration. So, I own a boutique, um, an online boutique. I've owned it since 2016. And so, what is that, three or so three and a half years or so now, officially. But I originally started because I couldn't find, when I changed from being a plus-size lady, I'm sorry, from a thin, <laughs> regular weight, and then turning, you know, gaining all the pound and getting morbidly obese, I couldn't find cute clothes anymore. So I know what it was like to be able to go to the store, pick something out, and go home with it. You know, and it fit, and I looked good in it. So then I went to, you know, being morbidly obese, where now I've got to shop in a whole other section of clothes. Those clothes are freaking ugly. I don't care what you say. <laughs> and, you know, and then you get home, and you either look like you're in a parachute, or you look like you are just a mess, frumpy, you know, or it's too tight, and it's showing all your the spots that you are self-conscious about. So I opened a boutique, and it was more geared to plus size. I did sell all sizes, 
but I, it was a heavy emphasis on plus because I was plus size myself. So I've always had a passion of making people feel beautiful and worthy and have self-confidence. So I didn't know that it was going to lead me to where I am today with this YouTube channel. But it was kind of like a little, you know, it was kind of like a little hint along the way and it took me a while to realize, you know, this is what's going to happen. But, and I'm so grateful, 10,500 subscribers, like, whoa, I can't believe it. But again, I am deserving of that. I've done so much to help inspire as much as I can. And instead of saying, I can't believe everybody's following me, I'm like, you should be following me. This is, this is awesome. This is, we can have this together, you know. But anyways, getting back on topic, I have a, um, an online boutique, so I've been take I always have to take pictures, and you know, so I look at these old pictures from when I got the inventory in, versus today wearing that same inventory. It's incredible the change that happened. So I mean, you can see it everywhere. You can see it not just in my face. You can see it in my thighs. You can see it in my waist, my arms. You know, the way stuff hangs on my body. And that's a 70 pound difference in general. Some of those are only about a three month difference. So I'm gonna insert all the pictures here, but check them out. So what I'm trying to say is there, you've gotta take the pictures. You've gotta take the before and after pictures. Even if it makes you cringe, you've got to love yourself again and see the difference that you can be with just a little hard work and self love and effort. You know, so I want you to have this too. Um, if you want any of these outfits, you can check out my boutique link. Um, it's taylorrosefashion.com. Um, I, I'm not like a humongous boutique, but this is what my real job is um, that, you know, <laughs> I've had like the YouTube channel. I would love to become a, an official YouTuber, but I, would, I still love the passion of helping people feel beautiful again too. So I'm not like a massive boutique, but I do have a small sized inventory that I do out of my house. So if you want anything and you want to support me, you can go or, go for it. I got lots of great stuff. Um, and then I'll be getting more stuff in soon, so stay tuned. Um, because now, here's the other thing. You lose 70 pounds. You have 70 pounds to go, or I should say, I lost 70 pounds. I have 70 pounds to go as well. I need new clothes. Like people ask me, is keto expensive? A keto is expensive. No, I cut out all of the extras that I was buying that were in the middle of the grocery store and replaced that money towards higher ingredients that are grass fed, pasture raised, organic, you know. But the part that is expensive is you do have to get a new wardrobe as you lose weight. I, I'm constantly buying new clothes now because I can't fit in a 3X anymore. You know, like this shirt is a 2X. I'm still wearing it, but I have to do a tie on it now, you know? But I don't want to invest too much in new clothes, but if you have to say, is keto expensive? The only expensive part is you have to buy new clothes all the time. You know, and that includes bras, underwear, bathing suits, you know, not just your shirts. So, uh, how cool is that? But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you've made it this far, hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications, leave me a comment. What do you think of this video? And stay tuned for more videos from my Keto 101 series. <laughs> and once again, I'm Jess. I hope this was in inspiring and I will see you at the next video. Bye, you're watching Keto Rewind. <laughs>